is Shondell from Luxury Naturals. I'm coming to you today with two soaps. One is a custom order and the other one uh, was supposed to be the original part of the custom order but I forgot the fragrance oil. <laughs> so anyway this is uh, called my refreshing mint soap but it has been modified for my client because they have allergies so I made sure that I made it the way that um, the client liked without certain oils or using certain oils. So this soap here is actually made with tallow. Um, so it made a very very hard bar and then it has I actually infused the olive oil with mint and let me tell you about our mints. Um, I grow all the mints that I use or herbs, most of the herbs that I use in the soaps whether it's lavender whether it's rosemary or mints. I grow them organically in my garden and I dry them, harvest them, as well as my lemongrass for my ginger and lemongrass soap. And I dry them and harvest them and I use them within the soaps. So I make herbal sachets too, so if anyone is interested, uh, you can actually check out the website to learn more about that. But uh, this soap has been infused with uh, mint oil. And in addition to that, it also has um, essential oils of mint. And then in the middle, there's a fine little line of dried mint leaves as well as ground on the top. So it's a very nice bar. And it has a... Oh, smells so, so good. So refreshing. This will be a nice wake-up bar. So, and then I was able to do a little bit extra because, again, this is like another two-pound batch. Um, and then I had a little bit extra, so I put them in a small mold. And this actually has the ground mint at the back. So, and then the top is that. It started to get a little bit of ash, and I think it's because of the cream um, and the oils. And being that it's a little cooler this time of the year in my home. Uh, so it actually, I think it creates a little bit of ash, but I will finish cleaning all of that up. So, but let me tell you about this soap here. This is an unscented soap. Um, this was supposed to be the mint soap, but I forgot. Actually, no, it wasn't supposed to be the mint. It was supposed to be another uh, fragrance soap, but I forgot to put the fragrance oil. I got all the way through like the first layer and then realized, shoot. I forgot the fragrance oil so now what I started doing is before I even start mixing in my colors I put the fragrance oil in so that helps keep me on track unless it's going to accelerate then I'll have to tie a little ribbon around my finger to help me keep uh, going but for the most part I've never had that problem this is the very first time in my years of soaping that I actually forgot the fragrance oil in a batch of soap and did not realize it until I was halfway through which is so sad but it, it's a beautiful soap I love the layers um, the brown is actually believe it or not molasses uh, yes molasses and if you mix molasses with uh, your saponified oils which is your soap batter you can actually create a very nice tan brown depending on how much you put in there it will become darker um, and I don't know if you guys have seen my gingerbread men if you check out the website if they're still up there I had gingerbread men for the holiday season um, and they were actually colored naturally with molasses so molasses has a high content of iron um, as well as sulfur so and it has trace minerals so it's actually good for you to take the unsulfured molasses and you want the unrefined kind uh, it, well molasses is a refined product but you want the most naturally unrefined one as you can find um, so basically if you guys don't know molasses is a byproduct of the sugar industry sugarcane industry so it was used back in the day um, to help supplement diets uh, for mostly people from the south because my mother's from the south and so they used to actually put molasses on um, biscuits to help to incorporate a lot of the trace minerals that they may not have gotten out their regular diet this is years ago um, so so that's a little history about molasses but yes it's a great way to color your soap as well as impart some trace minerals um, and again it's all natural so that's very neat and then the green is actually a very pale chromium green um, and then the cream is naturally the cream colored soap so that is that and I'll show you another 
another part of the bar, the design. I like it. It's so pretty. This had a little bit of an ash too. Um, believe it or not, it started to accelerate. It started doing some funny things like after I really got the design going, which was a little bit strange, but nevertheless, it's a very nice hard soap. So I wanted to come to you and show you those, and then I do have a couple of these little pieces off on the side. These are like sample cuts and end pieces that I always save, and I put them on the tray on the side. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? And that's the back side. Okay, well thank you for watching. Until the next time, uh, have a good day. Be blessed. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. At the very bottom is the link you would like to. If you would like to, feel free to subscribe to the Luxury Natural channel for soap videos. Okay, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.